I would like to take a moment to offer my congratulations to each and every one of my Indian colleagues on the remarkable achievement of the recent space mission to the moon. The Indian Space Research Organization did a great job and showed great commitment to pushing the boundaries of human exploration. The culmination of this mission has witnessed the expertise of a great nation with brilliant scientists who were able to overcome difficult challenges while keeping very low the cost, one fact that I think impressed everyone. The fact that Chandrayaan cost 74 million uh, uh, in American dollars, 74 million dollars. Um, you know, that's what we spend on movies, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about the Chandrayaan-3 program, the lunar exploration mission that was carried out on the last 23 August when the lander Vikram and the rover Pragyan touched down in the lunar South Pole region, known else as taking any lander in this region so far. As we reflect on this achievement, one interesting question arises. What are the programming languages employed by the Indian Space Organization to safely deliver payloads to the lunar surface. Well, let's take a look. The first on the list is the great C++, which is a general purpose programming language invented by Bjarne Strostrup that's known for its performance and versatility. It's an extension of Dennis Ritchie's C programming language that supports object-oriented programming templates and much more. C++ was used in the mission due to its efficiency and ability to handle complex mathematical calculations which are crucial for trajectory computations and ensure accurate and safe landing. Examples of application of these features involve implementing algorithms to calculate trajectory corrections in real time based on the sensor data during the nascent phase, orbital propagation algorithms to simulate the spacecrafts around the moon, Monte Carlo simulations to run multiple trajectories simultaneously for different parameters, optimization algorithms like genetic algorithm and the finite element algorithms to model interactions between the lander and the lunar surface. Moreover, C++ is employed to develop onboard systems that control propulsion systems for precise landing based on the calculated trajectory. The second language is Python, which is a versatile, high-level programming language known for its simplicity, readability, and soft lear learning curve uh, when compared to C++, of course. It supports various programming paradigms, including procedural, object-oriented, and functional programming. Python is employed for the space mission due to its ease of use, rapid development, and extensive libraries. As you know, for a rover to operate autonomously, it must be aware of its surrounding environment. Situational awareness involves self-localizing, detecting hazards, and monitoring significant changes in phenomena, potentially indicating important scientific data. If a system is aware, then it can easily identify scientifically crucial features, prioritize data, collate them, and train additional instruments on features of interest. A system that's aware of its surrounding environment can autonomously assess current conditions and execute activities without relying on commands coming from Earth. In other words, the system can autonomously plan the path which requires classification algorithms that help determine the optimal paths to avoid problems. To carry all this through, a system must be equipped with a programming language like Python that makes it easy to implement artificial intelligence algorithms for assessing images or even soil samples. Some of the employed uh, algorithms are the convolutional neural networks for recognition tasks, reinforcement learning for autonomous navigation and decision making, clustering tasks to categorize different types of soil samples collected by the rover, or even anomaly detection to identify unexpected patterns in the data collected. The third language is Java, a popular platform independent programming language known for its write once, run anywhere capability. It's known for its object-oriented approach, strong type checking, and robustness. Java's cross-platform compatibility is valuable for space missions where hardware and software diversity is common. Java is a key language because it helps develop software that interfaces with various components of the spacecraft. Therefore, the key features that characterize Java are cross-platform software development and space craft subsystem integration. Examples of application of these features involve developing software to control and monitor the lander scientific instruments, which may require interacting with different hardware components. The fourth language is ADA, which is a 
less known programming language than the previous ones. ADA is designed for high integrity systems, particularly in safety critical and real-time applications. It emphasizes reliability, maintainability, and concurrency. ADA's focus on safety and control makes it important for avionics and control systems in space missions, and landers benefit from ADA's ability to ensure precise control and fault tolerance. Examples of application of these languages features involve writing code to manage the lander's propulsion system, ensuring that thrust can be adjusted precisely and safely, and developing software to manage redundancy in onboard systems, allowing the lander to continue operating even if some components fail. Another super important language used in Chandrayaan 3 program is Fortran which is a language primarily used for scientific and engineering computations. It's known for its numeric and scientific computing capabilities. This is an indeed incredible programming language because it was developed in the 1950s. Nobody talks about it outside the engineering community, yet it's so powerful for its scientific and engineering applications. The lines of code you see represent an example of the implementation of the famous subspace iteration method for the computation of the smallest eigenvalues using Fortran. This is drawn from my favorite book on the finite element method written by the amazing MIT professor Klaus Jogenbate. If you're interested in this topic, I strongly recommend it. Fortran is designed for numerical computations, supports complex mathematical tasks, can perform efficient array operations. It relies on many libraries developed over the past years. Many cluster systems utilize it for performing scientific computations and can be easily parallelized, which is crucial when large-scale matrices are involved. Large-scale finite element models are extensively employed for the simulation of aerospace structural components, which require millions of degrees of freedom and consequently large matrices to build differential equations that can accurately capture the steady and dynamic behavior of those structures. Fortran is therefore valuable for complex calculations involved in trajectory analysis and orbital mechanics. Examples of application of these features for the space mission involve algorithms that model, for instance, the gravitational interaction uh, between the spacecraft and the moon. It's also used to calculate fuel consumption and propulsion requirements for precise, optimized, trajectory adjustment during the mission. Another powerful language used by the Indian Space Organization is Rust, a systems a programming language that, of course, we cannot forget. Otherwise, Rust lovers start blaming me for having included C++ in this list. Rust is known for its focus on memory safety, performance, and concurrency. It prevents common programming errors like null pointer, dereferences, and buffer overflows. Rust's memory safety features are crucial for Chandrayaan 3 because reliability is paramount. In the lunar lander, it is used for applications that require protection against memory errors, ensuring stable operation, and it's employed to manage communication between the lander's systems and mission control without risking memory-related crashes. The seventh language is MATLAB, a high-level programming language that I'm sure all of you already know. It's an environment designed explicitly for numerical and scientific computing. It provides an extensive range of mathematical functions and toolboxes, and it's very similar to mathematical Mathematica by Wolfram, even though I personally prefer the latter for the user-friendly environment and the immense efficiency, so it's unbeatable. MATLAB is essential for simulating intricate scenarios that involve complex mathematical models. It has been used to model various mission phases and validate control strategies. Examples of application of these features involve creating simulations to model the dynamics of the lunar lander during descent and landing, considering factors like atmospheric drag and engine thrust. The eighth programming language is assembly, a low-level programming language that directly interacts with the computer's hardware architectures. It provides fine-grained control over hardware resources. Assembly language is crucial for optimizing hardware performance in the space mission, where computational efficiency is vital. It's used for programming specific hardware components and achieving real-time responsiveness. The ninth language employed by the Indian Space Research Organization is Swift, which is a general-purpose programming language developed by Apple. It's known for its safety features, performance, and modern syntax, and 
it's also one of the most in-demand languages. So if you want to build apps for iPhone or Mac systems, well, that's the way to go. Swift's focus on this mission is safety and performance, which makes it valuable for quick responses and control of onboard equipment. It's used for developing software that interacts with various spacecraft systems. The last language is Lua, a scripting language known for its simplicity and bettability. It's often used for scripting and automation in various applications. Its simplicity and ease of integration makes it available for automating routine tasks on the spacecraft. It can be used to develop scripts that handle various operations without needing a total software rewrite. Examples of application of these features involve writing scripts that automate data collection from various sensors on the spacecraft, preparing the data for transmission back to Earth, and automating the deployment of scientific instruments, thus reducing the need for manual intervention and minimizing human error. These examples uh, showcase how each programming language plays a unique role in various aspects of this great space mission involving lunar landers from complex calculations and simulations to real-time control and automation of critical operations. So now it's your turn to embrace the challenge and determine the language that resonates with your personal preferences. I'd like to hear your choice from among these 10 languages, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below the video and see you soon.